We are back at home today and it feels good to be home. All of us, we love to cruise, we love to travel, but it always feels good to be back home and we feel like we're here at home. We are in the studio sharing the latest in cruising and cruise news with all you Islanders. And let me just go ahead and warn you before we start the show, it is a crazy cruise news good day for Carnival Cruise Line, for Carnival Corporation. If you're a fan of Carnival, you're going to watch the show. You're going to be happy. If you don't like Carnival, you're going to say, I, 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 I. Carnival Corporation shares their latest quarterly earnings reports. It's nothing but good, it begs the question, are we at the turning point? Are we in smoother waters? Not just for Carnival Corporation, but the entire industry as some really good things have been shared. But that's not all. There's other good news for Carnival Cruise Line winning awards, certain ships winning awards, the overall cruise line winning awards. They're selling 100 million people. We're gonna share all of the crazy good news for Carnival Corporation. And we're also going to share a story that we tried to share last week when we were on board the Carnival Vista. The internet was too slow to upload the video. Topless sunbathing. We're covering the story today. Many people are inquiring, can we bring it back? Can we take off the shirt and go topless? Uh, so many people have brought up this story that John Hill <laughs> has responded uh, to cruising and sunbathing topless. We will discuss that on the show today as well. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Monday to all you Islanders. We hope you had a great weekend. We hope your week is off to a great start. Thank you for stopping by the show today. This is Island Time. I am Derek, and together we're going to discuss the latest in cruising and cruise news. We have a lot of good news for you today. For all you who follow Carnival, you follow the industry close, you are stock holders of different cruise lines. We're about to talk about all that, but first let me talk about this. What a trip. Last week, Amanda and I were on board the Carnival Vista. We had an absolute blast, and we gave a honest and fair review of the good, the bad, the ugly on our live show last night. We shared exclusive video from around the ship, sunsets and tours and different venues, the embarkation process on our live show last night. Be sure you check that out. We will have a condensed version later in the week that shares some of this. We will also have a ship tour of the Carnival Vista coming up very, very soon. We thank all of you who followed us in our travels last week. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the live uh, videos and shows and all the content that we put out there. But here we are. We are back at home. I have missed this. I have missed you. I've missed this studio sharing the latest in cruising and cruise news, commenting and reading your interactions in the comment section below, having you join our Facebook page uh, to ask your questions and to share your experience. I have missed it and I'm glad we are back. Let's talk about the latest in cruising and cruise news right now. Carnival Corporation, the parent company of Carnival Cruise Line, shared the latest quarterly earnings report today. And really, it was nothing but great things. I know the stock price is down a little bit. That's because they lost a little bit more money last year than what they thought they would. But when you look at 2023, things are headed up. And really, analysts and those who uh, hold large amounts of stock are starting to ask, is this the turning point of not just Carnival Corporation, Carnival Cruise Line, but the entire industry? Are we entering smoother waters. Our cruise lines now making that money, turning cash flow positive, able to pay off debt that they incurred during the COVID shutdown, able to hedge and pay for higher fuel costs. That answer may just be yes. It may be now that you buy Carnival stock, you buy Royal Caribbean Group stock, you buy other stock. I'm not a financial advisor, but listen to uh, this earnings report from Carnival Corporation they had a smaller than expected quarterly loss. So they lost less money uh, than what Wall Street uh, predicted. They still did lose money. Let's, let's put that out there. But it was smaller uh, than what Wall Street had predicted. They also beat estimates for revenue. We'll talk about revenue here in just a second. And everything points to a solid 2023. Listen to some of this right here. Occupancy, I was surprised at this, but remember this is Carnival Corporation. All cruise lines that fall under uh, the corporation, Carnival Cruise Line is one of them, Princess is one of them, uh, P&O is one of them, uh, AIDA is one of them. 
These are all cruise lines, 91% occupancy. Of course, Carnival Cruise Line leads the way. They're upwards of 100%. We were just on board last week. It was over 100% occupancy, meaning that those cabins that could hold three and four passengers, five passengers in some situations, were holding the max amount of passengers. We were at almost 110% occupancy last week. They expect that this occupancy will rise, of course, which leads to more cash flow generation. Uh, this is going to start to take place in the summer as the summer cruise cruising season is upon us. Revenue for the quarter in 2023 was $4.4 billion. Revenue for the quarter, $4.4 billion. That is 95% of what revenue was in Q1 of 2019, which was a record year. That's what we compare everything to. Onboard revenue. How much money did people spend on board during Q1? $1.56 billion, almost 35% of Carnival Corporation's revenue comes from onboard spending, $1.56 billion. Are you spending more revenue on board? Amanda and I just cruised last week and I'll admit we are. We're spending more on board than what we used to before COVID. Will that level out? No one knows. Uh, the leadership team hopes no, no, it doesn't level out, but We'll see if it levels out. 1.56 billion is a huge number. The, uh, the executive leadership team also continued to share the record booking quarters and months and weeks that we're seeing in 2023. The wave season is supposed to be traditionally winding down right now. We don't see any slowdown. Those of you who are cruising, validate this. You're seeing less cabins available throughout the year. You're seeing higher prices uh, throughout 2023 and into 2024, I'm seeing it on my personal cruises. Of course, I help so many of you plan and book your cruises. And that's the number one thing I hear is, oh my goodness, you know, cruises are going up. It's not like it was in 2021 and 2022. Prices are indeed going up. Investors like that. Uh, Carnival Corp uh, Corporation sharing that they saw records in just about every single industry and area uh, around the world. Total customer deposits. This is a number uh, that's big to investors in Wall Street. How many people have given Carnival Corporation money and how much money have they given saying, I'm going to cruise with you. Here's my deposit. I will pay the rest later. And when I get on board, I will spend more money. What is that number? $5.7 billion in deposits. $5.7 billion in deposits. That is indeed was also a record, a bid record in 2019 by 16%. The demand is growing. Cash from operations turned positive for the first quarter in 2023. That is huge. Cash from operations is positive. The money is there. The spending is there. Carnival Corporation is excited as well as the rest in the industry. We will see what other cruise lines report very, very soon. CEO, uh, Carnival, uh, Carnival Corporation's uh, Chief Executive Officer, Josh Weinstein, said this, in the first quarter, we outperformed our guidance on all measures, driven by improving ticket prices and sustained growth in onboard revenue while delivering an additional seven points of occupancy or on higher capacity compared to the prior quarter. We are enjoying a phenomenal wave season, achieving our highest quarter, uh, highest ever quarterly booking volumes and breaking records in North America and Europe. Our strong performance was extended into March, and we expect this favorable trend to continue based on the success of our efforts to drive demand. Lastly, the first quarter of this year, 2023, ended with $8.1 billion of liquidity, of cash, that's a big number that now cruise lines can go pay off debt with. They can invest in dry docks in. They can invest in new ship builds in. We will mention new ship builds for Carnival Corporation on tomorrow's show. It's a sign of the times. Things are going well. The executive leadership team was excited. Investors are also excited. The stock has been up and down today, but it's a step in the right direction. What do you think about these numbers? What do you think about occupancy? What do you think about turning cash flow positive? What do you think about uh, being able to pay off debts? What do you think about owning stock? Of course, there are uh, all kinds of different benefits of holding stock and getting onboard credit. Are you invested? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do you care about performance? Let us know in the comment section below as we enjoy covering uh, a lot of these activities uh, for you. More good news for the cruise line, though. The, cruise line, the, the good news doesn't stop at Wall Street. 
That's where you want the good news, but it doesn't stop there. Carnival Cruise Line has been voted best ocean cruise line in USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Award. That's right. You heard that right. It was Carnival Cruise Line that was cho chosen as USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards. They did not stop there. Carnival Cruise Line was uh, the big winner of that award. Christine Duffy said this, the best ocean cruise line distinction is outstanding and all the more so because it's earned by the votes of USA Today's readers. We are so grateful to them for choosing fun. Our team members both on board and ashore work diligently to provide excellent experiences for our guests and to see their efforts being rewarded is phenomenal. They did not stop there. Uh, USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards also recognizes Carnival Horizon as the top spot as be of best cruise ship for dining. For all you foodies out there, we are asked constantly, what's the best cruise line for food? What's the best cruise ship for food? Does the Magic have good food? We've had awful reviews here lately. The Vista was great last week. Carnival Horizon won best cruise ship for dining. Does that help you make your decision? Also, Carnival Sunshine was, was named best midsize cruise ship, probably largely because of her serenity area. Three levels of serenity on the sunshine, a waterfall uh, from the third story to the first story, an adults only pool. That's pretty good for a midsize cruise ship. The words uh, come in, Wall Street news comes in all at a time. When I couldn't mention this last week, this took place last week, and it's important to note that Carnival has announced that they have sailed 100 million guests. What a number, 100 million guests. They have three new ships uh, coming in the next 14 months, two of those coming from the Costa brand. The Jubilee is on date. I get asked every day, is she coming? Yes, she is. Three new cruise ships in 14 months. More guests are set to sell with Carnival Cruise Line very, very soon. Let's talk about this story right here. I tried to record this last week. The Vista Internet, I, I did record it. The Vista Internet was too slow for me to upload it. Topless sunbathing is in cruise news. Uh, we've been asked about it, so we're going to cover it. Right? Pun intended. We're going to cover it. Uh, topless. We saw some topless action the last 10 days. The Arkansas Razorbacks competed in the NCAA tournament March Madness. Uh, the Razorbacks went to the Sweet 16. Our head coach, Essel, uh, Eric Musselman, takes off his shirt, waves it around. He goes topless in the arena in front of thousands of people on national TV. Topless. We've seen it. Of course, the Hogs got beat by UConn, who may just win it all, right? Let's talk about topless sunbathing on cruise ships. This was the norm several years ago. Uh, even Carnival Cruise Line allowed topless sunbathing. No lie, they did. I haven't cruised long enough uh, to experience it. It was not available when I cruised, but some of you have been cruising for a long time, and you can validate this, okay? You can check it off and say, yes, th this used to happen on Carnival ships. Uh, topless sunbathing. A lot of people have asked about it. They maybe want it to come back. They've reached out to different places, including John Hild. Enough people reached out to John Hild that it warranted a response from him. Listen to this. We spoke about, this is from John Hild. We spoke a lot about the Serenity, Serenity Deck yesterday. And among the comments, I read a surprising amount of questions that as it is an adults area, 21 plus, remember, that it should allow for topless sunbathing and why we don't. Well, the answer is that we do not allow topless sunbathing on the Serenity Deck or anywhere else. It is interesting to think back when we had topless decks, which I am honest, uh, were used mostly by the dancers and men armed with camcorders. Topless decks, they were a thing, usually around the funnel, right? Remember that? It would be the topless deck. Uh, John Hill makes a comment there, a joke there about who used to utilize those topless decks. But a lot of people have asked John Hill and they've reached out even to me asking, is Carnival allowing this now? Is this something new? And for a couple of days, I was like, why? I've had like six responses, six questions about this. And I wasn't sure what was going on. And it was, I guess, people seeing each other's questions and wanting to ask, uh, do you remember those days? And do you think that Serenity, being that it's 21 plus and supposed to be monitored and regulated, the crew on the Carnival Vista last week did an outstanding job. Do you think being 21 plus, topless sunbathing, should it be allowed? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Others have asked me as they, on Facebook and, and YouTube, 
other cruise lines that actually allow this? And yes, there are. Uh, and there's more than probably what you would think. Virgin Voyages, of course, is an all adult cruise line in itself. They do allow topless sunbathing. Deck 17, known as the Perch. Uh, you can uncover it. You can sunbathe. Uh, use uh, 10 SPF, 50, 70, whatever you want to use. Uh, but they do allow it. Also, Carnival Sister Line Costa Cruise Line, they allow topless, topless sunbathing as well from cruises that start and sell out of Europe. Uh, Carnival, though, is saying, we used to, we don't plan to, and hopefully... That doesn't upset many people. I don't think that it would, but it's been I've been it's been interesting to see how many questions I've received. And then when you look on someone like John Hill's page, how many questions he has received, it's like I've got I've got to mention this. I've got to I've got to cover it. So it's covered. Topless sunbathing is now covered. What do you think about topless sunbathing? Should you be free? <laughs> Literally, should you be free and be allowed uh, to let the girls out, kiss the sun a little bit, uh, or you know what, let's be responsible, let's take care of ourselves, let's cover our bodies and uh, some, of the, some of the swimsuits, let's be honest, okay? I just cruised last week. Some of the swimsuits and bathing suits and bikinis, I don't even know what you'd call them anymore. anymore. Uh, there's, there's more fabric uh, in a napkin than what's in some of these swimsuits. And so, is it topless? Some of these are already almost topless, right? They are. Uh, what do you think about this story? Should it be allowed? Let us know in the comment section below. Uh, a community where anything can be discussed, right? Uh, in seriousness and in play and fun, we're going to cover it all for you. We hope you enjoyed the show today. We, inv we invite you to become part of this community. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. You will get those notifications when we upload content. And we hope that you enjoyed the show. If so, give us a thumbs up today. I know it was a longer one, but we had a lot of cruise news to catch up on. We are so glad that we're here. We can't wait to see your comments, of course, in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts on the show today. Uh, we invite you to join us, of course, on Facebook if you haven't already. The Facebook link, link is in the description of this video. And if you're looking to book your next cruise, if you're looking for someone to manage your next cruise, even though you've already booked it, we can help you with that. Shoot us an email, travel at bookislandtime.com. We will help you from end to end. We'll let you know where you can go topless or not topless. We'll let you know uh, what beautiful beaches you can go to, where to book your hotel, all of it included end to end. We'll help you out. We hope you have a great day, Islanders. We'll talk to you tomorrow right here on Island Time.